A few years ago, I bartended in a dark, dank, creepy, hole-in-the-wall bar. During that time, sure, I witnessed countless weird things done by my regular living customers. This story, however, is about the poltergeist activity that I witnessed inside that bar. I was all alone at work the first time it happened. I was sitting at the bar waiting for customers to come in, when one of the margarita glasses that was hanging upside down above the bar slid out from the overhead glass rack and broke mid-air. The broken glass, the pieces remain suspended for two to three seconds before they finally dropped, falling to the floor. It was exactly like something out of a horror movie only it was real, happening right in front of my eyes. I told myself, I'm here alone, nobody is going to believe me. I kind of did a mental shrug and picked up the shards of glass. I never mentioned it to my boss or my coworkers. It's weird because at the time, I was more concerned that they would think I was crazy. However, now that I don't work there anymore, Remembering it really creeps me out. Two or three days after that, I was sitting in the same spot, and my mother was sitting next to me. This was a new job for me, and she was a little worried, so she was there to check out the place. Meanwhile, the busboy was crouched down at the fridge under the TV, stocking the beer when it happened again. My mom freaked out. Did you guys just see that? That glass just slid out on its own and broke. Did you see that? What the hell is going on here? I remember the busboy and I just looked at each other and shrugged, both admitting that, yeah, we saw it. At the time, I just felt relieved that someone else had seen it, and then I knew I hadn't been losing my mind the other day after all. When I told my mom the same thing had happened to me the other day, she asked me why I didn't tell her this before. I think it was because, like I said, I had been alone, and rather than say something to anyone, I just tried to put it out of my mind, because I couldn't rationally explain why it happened. By the time I got home from work, I had done so well putting it out of my mind, I forgot to tell her. My mom was terrified. She had never seen anything like that before, and she wanted me to quit. I stayed there for a long time after, and it never happened again. Oddly though, the busboy and I never talked about it, even though we could discuss just about everything else. <laughs>